And we're back this evening with State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister. She joins us now live via Zoom to talk about the decision of no mandatory plan to get those kids back into our schools this fall. This was a very close vote, mandatory versus suggestion. So Superintendent Hoffmeister, let's talk about the big question for Oklahoma parents right now. Is it safe for them to send their kids back to school during this pandemic? It is not safe to be back in school unless your child has a mask and your teachers are wearing masks too. That is what we proposed and brought to the board, uh, but it uh, did not pass. And in my opinion, suggestions are not enough during a global pandemic. So what you wanted was a mandatory requirement of masks for teachers and for kids. That's right, and it would have responded and correlated to the path of the virus. So it wouldn't have affected all counties in the same way, but where there was active surge or spread of the virus, then it would have ratcheted up safety protocols. Okay, now some districts, including uh, Tulsa, they're considering a hybrid model, you know, where students would do some virtual learning from home and then they would be actually at the school on the other days. What are working parents supposed to do if they can't stay home with their kids? Has that been brought into consideration at all? Oh, it certainly has been. And and this these are, these are the kinds of decisions that um, are gut-wrenching. Everyone wants students to be back in school working face to face with their teachers. This is the best that, that we could hope for. However, um, we can't open schools if it is unsafe and there is a surge in COVID transmission in a community. We know that Tulsa is a hot spot right now and is increasing in spread. So the decision of the Tulsa School Board to deliver education in an alternative method is one that they took a lot of planning and consultation with their local health officials to develop. And what would you recommend for parents who just, you know, they can't afford uh, to have someone come in and sit with their kids at home, you know, while they go to work? Well, what I would suggest is in July, where we are right now, everyone wear a mask. That is going to allow us to, to be in school. It will prevent the kind of decisions that we don't want to make. And certainly a local school district doesn't want the alternative. But they do that because of the, the necessity that, that it, the virus has presented. It can change if we all do our part and wear a mask right now. Wearing a mask is not about your own protection or whether or not you feel ill. It is about others. It is helping the whole community to suppress transmission. And we're asking Oklahomans right now in July to think about these actions and how it's going to impact the start of school or the ability to stay open once we get into school. But in some communities like Tulsa, it may be too late to even consider a opening in a traditional way. And that's very unfortunate. Well, with today's decision, it sounds like the board is kind of turning control of the pandemic response over to local districts. Will they also uh, rescind restrictions, you know, for state testing and those school report cards? You know, why does the board believe that uh, local control for COVID safety, but they don't believe in that for student assessments? Well, that is, I think, a very poignant, you know, question. Um, we are in a time with a public health crisis, and I believe that warrants a state response. Uh, we are charged with the state uh, care and health and safety well-being of children at the State Board of Education. Uh, we have uh, differences uh, at times on, on any board and including ours, um, but we have a fundamental disagreement right now on how best to protect students. I don't think a scattered approach is how you tamp down and stall a spreading virus that we don't yet even know the long-term impact for sure those who you can contract go for main weather the better all right and very quickly um we just have a few seconds what are we doing about ppe how are we getting that to the schools right now will we be ready with enough ppe 
Well, we are using our federal funds to help districts with that. And those federal dollars are in place right now. We're asking the governor to release some of those funds so that we can get them into schools to protect those who serve in schools mm -hmm. and children. And then those families that children return to when they go home. There you go. Superintendent Hoffmeister, thank you for your time. Sorry it didn't work out the first time, but we got our questions answered. So thank you. Thank you.